also fan TV, um, the judge. How do you, you know what, how do you judge that today? I mean, that was poorly. Um, the, the second half was better. You know, they put up a little bit of fight. I thought Wilshire and that, they, they tried to carry the fight a bit in the second half. But the first half, some of the defending was absolutely comical. And another defeat on the roll here. Can, can, have you seen anything? I know you're there week in, week out. Have you ever seen anything like this on the road? No, I've never seen it as bad as this. You know, going back even when we was in the early 80s, Terry Neal and all that, I've not seen it as bad as this. You know, our defending is as comical now. It's absolutely comical. You know, the first goal, it took two passes to get from their edge of their box to our edge of our box. Two passes. They put in the cross, they get a corner. I'm fed up with Petr Cech. To his credit, he come into, I don't know if you see that at the end, yeah. he come in and said, I'm sorry, my fault. But it's too, too, all the time, sorry, I'm, I don't, I'm fed up with hearing sorry. Do something about it. You know, the second goal, you know, Murray, like, I don't know how old he is now, mid-30s, uh, he's, on, he's on the edge of our six-yard box and no one's picking him up, Robbie. No one's picked him up, you know, we're 2 0 down. We got back into it. We're, but listen, I can tell you that now, the atmosphere in there today it was, it was is probably the worst I've seen it for, I've, since I can remember. And the reason that is, Robbie, is because the fans have lost faith. The fans have lost faith in Wenger. Uh, the players have lost faith in Wenger. The only people that have not lost faith in Wenger is the board. And, and that is because they're earning money. But from a football inside of it, Everybody, the whole of the fans, everybody else, the pundits, everybody in that has lost faith in the manager. Now, the manager has to take the blame for it there because there's players playing. But I'm going to tell you this, Robbie. You know what I mean? There's so many players out there that have let him down. And I mean have let him down. You know, players are not playing well. So if they're not playing well, you drop them. How many more times is Shaka going to play before he's dropped? Bellerin's had a bad couple of games. He's dropped. You know, Chambers has a bad game, he's dropped. And then look, today, today it's Shaka, still in the side. Awobi, how is he getting a game of football at this football club? I'll never know. My mate turned around today, don't come all the time, Steve, turned around and said, and he said, this is, and I'll, I'll ask you the question, if they've done a, uh, the best two teams of the whole of, of the Premier League to play against each other, how many Arsenal players would get in it? Not one. Not one Arsenal player would get in the, the best A team and the best B team. Arsenal Football Club moved from the Emirates to you know, moved from Ivory to the Emirates, paying you know minimum up fans on Thursday night. Robbie were paying ninety pound to watch that football, and what they're watching, and what they're watching is a team that is not organised and not coached. I watched mm. I watched Man City on Thursday night. And I'm telling you that now, they're a good side. Why are they a good side? Because they've got individually good players, drilled. but they're fucking drilled. They're drilled to exactly everyone knows what they're doing. From, from the right back to the centre forward, when it breaks down, they know exactly what to do. The two wide players get back in. When you watch us, it is an absolute shambles. It's a shambles. I don't know what's going on. Breaking teams down. We've gone in the second half there against Brighton. This, this, this is not AC Milan and we're playing on Thursday or, or one of the top teams, it's Brighton. We had two shots in the second half, which their goalkeepers had to save. One, one was a good one. The second one, you know what I mean, like my name would have saved it. You know what I mean? And that is... It's, the like, we, it's like we don't want to take shots. We don't want to. I don't to. understand. We Lots of possession around the, the box. Have a shot. It can hit a deflection. It can do anything. Well, look, listen, and, uh, and this is... You have to ask a question. Going back three or four years ago, when we weren't as great as what we were, got even when we was getting the top four, you could walk away from a game thinking, do you know what, we might have lost, but we played some good football. Oh, we don't even play good football now, Robbie. It is absolutely rubbish from the word go. And I've got to say this, we're 2-0 down. We're 2-0 down today. And I look, at, I look over at the bench and Steve Bold and Arsene Wenger just sit there. So there's no passion coming from the side. So how do you expect passion from the players? If you're in, I'm asking everyone this, you're in charge, not the manager, a board member. You're cronky, yeah? And you're in charge, it's your decision. What do you do now with Arsene Wenger? I'd say thank you very much, Arsene. You've got to go. He would then turn around and say, well, you know, I run this club, so I'm not going. Well, that's what he'll say. So I'll go, well, please, can you leave at the end of the season then? Because that's what it is. He's the one dictating to everybody at the moment. You know, so, you know, but so, listen, if he's got half of respect for us fans and the love of Arsenal Football Club, he comes out and says, do you know what, I've given it my best shot, but, but I can't do it no more and let somebody else take over. Because we are now a rudderless ship, you know what I mean? Like, and we are sinking very, very quickly. And the, the fact of the matter is, I, you know, three or four weeks ago, I thought we had a good chance of winning Europa League. We ain't got a chance. 
not with this team, not with this defence. The way we play, we haven't got a chance. We need a manager, we need someone at this football club now with a backbone to say enough's enough. Enough's enough. You know, you can ask. I'll tell you, the only way I can explain this, and I keep saying it to everybody, when we won the when we won the um, the league in 2004, ask any fan if if you say right, do you want Arsenal Wenger to leave? Right, every single fan would have said no. What are you want about? You're mad. Ask them now. Right, and that's not personal. It's not personal. It's because of the way we're it's results driven. Now everybody don't want him now. So you've got to have to ask that question. You know what I mean? Like it's not personal. You know, and it's not, he's now got to make a decision himself. I don't want no excuses today. He's got to come out and tell us, because we've, got, we've lost hope, Robbie. Everybody here has lost hope. You can see that on Thursday night. Look at it, look at it on Thursday night, it's half empty. The players making, well, supporters making excuses about the weather. No, it's because they didn't want to go. And today, we need, we need answers now. And, you know, otherwise, everybody here is going to lose faith. We're giving you a chance to be on Arsenal Fan TV and give your opinion after the game. All you've got to do is WhatsApp your video and hold the camera like this. Send it straight after.